Finally, if this vote fails and we decide to reprimand, I will wear it as a badge of honor, standing up for equality, recognizing the gifts in men and women that God gives. Thank you, sir. I, as president of the Southern Union, would be most honored to be publicly reprimanded along with my colleagues who have followed the dictates of the constituencies they chair. I want to thank the General Conference Administration for your effort, but I believe that we need another way forward. And I can live with a warning. And as you're trying to, to say you're downplaying the warning, the more you downplay the warning, the more I question why on earth are we then receiving the warning? I would request that my name be added to the list of non-compliance. Yes, Mr. Chairman, Dan Jackson, North American Division. The matter of conscience is one of the fascinating features of human existence. Oftentimes in history, the exercise of conscience has led to one form of consequence or the other. The names Luther, Zwingli, Huss, Jerome, and others come to mind. Today we stand at the place where conscience and consequences meet. The question we face is how will we as a body deal with those who have exercised conscience contrary to the clearly defined statements and votes. This is from Testimonies 428. If there were no church discipline and government, the church would go to fragments. We've heard the opposite. If we vote this, that we're fragmenting the church, Mrs. White says the opposite. If we don't reprimand, we're going to fracture the church. We stay together in unity by reprimanding and by discipline. The last one I'd like to read is page 498. There will be crisis in the cause. Prompt and decisive action at the right time will gain glorious triumphs while delay and neglect will result in great failures and positive dishonor to God. There are times when caution and great deliberation are necessary, but even here, much has been lost by too great hesitancy. Thank you. Last year, we had an extensive discussion on this. And so when we came this year, we handed over this document and I realized this I, I, I was sad and so I was waiting to see what the leadership of those those um, entities were going to do I was expecting some level of remorse that we have gone against what has been brought to our fore I didn't get that and for the for the want of a better word i don't know how to say it but the open display of impunity is worrying i don't know the kind of signal we are sending out there to the young people it will happen that for some reason in those constituencies we may have an issue where a young person will refer leadership to some of these moments that my conscience this is what it tells me i'm just asking what will the leader should do when i became a seven day adventist i was struggling with the fact that if i read the bible this is how i understand it if this one says i read the bible this is how i understand it then i was asking myself how was god going to judge until i met this text second peter chapter 2 chapter 3 verse 16 if i have to make inference 
then it means that it says that whoever misinterprets scripture do it to their own destruction then it means that the issue of conscience does not come in here it will have to be what the truth is all about in that case what this body of god of christ have decided 